What is going on everybody, it's your boy the Slab Train. Welcome back to some Forza Motorsport 5 Let's Play. In today's episode number 9, and today gentlemen, it is Ferrari time. We have the beautiful F12 Berlinetta. Oh my god, yo, this thing is beautiful. This thing has a little bit of sentimental value to this thing, and the reason being, let's have a look at this thing real quick. Let's have a look at the history of this car. This was given to me by a turn 10 developer. So if you guys see here, LV T10 Rasta C2. Now if you guys watch my video um, about how to make some easy money, uh, this is right off the Forza Motorsport rewards page. So that was the reason why I got that. I also got the RS7 Sport back and the Fiesta just to add to the collection of beautiful cars that I have right now. So. What we're going to do quickly, we're just going to do a few minor upgrades to see how this thing's going to actually compete in our class that we want. Obviously, we got to drop this thing. It's a must. You already know. Hold on a minute. We dropped it. Let's uh, stable this roll cage a little bit here. We're going to lose a little bit on the weight, but that's all right, though. We're going to gain some on the handling, which is what I'm going for. Because this thing's already a monster on its own. We're going to weight reduction this thing, bring it back down. 2,300. We have 337 credits now. This is a little bit more from what we last seen on my Let's Play, but I continued last night. The way that I want to do this, really, if you guys watch this, you know, race for race, you're going to get bored. So what I did was, you know, I kind of completed a few more races, got some extra cash, and then I'll, you know, I'll make it so it's the most entertaining for you guys. So that's the way I was doing it last night. I played a little few races, you know, just kind of chilled out by myself, and uh, yeah. So we're here now, we did some more races, and now we got some money. So let's uh, let's throw some rims on this thing. This thing is absolutely just, oh my god, it's beautiful, man. So damn nice, it's not even funny. Um, I don't know what I want for rims on this thing. Was that carbon Kevlar? That is too, wow, that's beautiful. All right, let's go with, um, what do I want to do with on this thing? Ooh, man, those are beautiful. Man, those Fisk rims, or however you want to pronounce it, is just breathtaking on 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 Forza 5, man. Jeez. All right, let's go with um. What do I want on this thing? A five spoke or what? I don't even know to be honest with you. Something nice, something you know, real nice and classy. You know what I'm saying? It looks like the braking rotor is through the rim. Is that right on that? Do you guys see that? The rotor is through the rim. All right, so let's go with maybe. Ah, man, there's too many rims to choose from on this thing. Too many. Too many nice-looking rims, let's say. Last year, you know, there wasn't a lack of really nice-looking rims, but this year they really stepped their game up with rim selection, and they really did a great job with it. Um, ooh. You know what? I like the BBSs right off the bat right here. 3,600, let's throw these puppies on. And if we can, let's throw on an extra set of race tires on here, it, or... Have, oh, it doesn't even have race yet. So let's do uh, sport. Hopefully, I can use these in the races. That's my plan, you know. That's my overall goal. Hoping and wishing and praying. So let's have a look at some comments from my last couple videos um, for my Let's Plays and see what you guys were requesting. Um, really, this thing's set to go. We're going to keep it uh, Ferrari red. And what's up next right now? My cars, yes, I want that. Ultimate Grand Touring, we recommend you. Uh, oh, we were. Oh, okay. Now that is for <clears throat> the Grand Touring event. So yeah, it looks like we need to upgrade this car. So that's perfect. Uh, you know what I am just to find out exactly what this needs to be upgraded for. Hold on now. No, I didn't want to do that. Cars affordable. No, why am I? Sport cars eligible? No. Specialized? There we go. Here it is. Alright. So this is it here. Let's um, see what it wants us to upgrade. Below 800. Holy man, this thing is going to be booming. Holy jeez, gentlemen. Alright, let's do this thing. What the hell? Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, so let's throw on the race tires. We're gonna sell these actually just because we don't need them now Oh, you know what? I probably will for when I drift so I'm gonna keep those but I am gonna purchase the race tires because that is gonna be a Must for here. You're gonna find a lot of people just screaming down these tracks We're gonna need a racing suspension for sure. I mean a racing uh, transmission. Sorry Throw that in there 
Uh, clutch, I guess we'll, I guess we'll throw on a clutch, why not? Uh, do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? No, not want to do it. Alright. We're gonna go with some engine upgrades, little camshafts here, and that's gonna put us to an extra 57 horsepower. This thing is gonna be ridiculous, guys. We're gonna be able to, we're gonna really just need to find traction on this thing, to be honest with you. Uh, another 33 horse brings us down to 820. I'm not going to touch any more to do with the horsepower because this thing is already just ridiculous. But I am going to do, uh, I already did racing suspension, or trans transmission, racing suspension. Let's throw on some, uh, some roll bars on here. And then we're going to do a little weight, re or oh, I already did that, as well as the weight reduction too. So... Other than that, what else do we really have to do? Drive line, I guess I'll throw that on there. Another 2100 damn credits though. Sport diff, throw that puppy in. What else do we need on this? Uh, let's uh, beef up the back tires just a little bit here. Now what I really like is when you beef up the back tires, it actually increases the tire width, which is really damn cool. And I thought that was really neat the way that they did that, and really that extra detail to the game is just absolutely amazing. Alright, we're going to upgrade the front tire width as well, and I think we're pretty much set. Um, I know we're not even really close to, or, you know, oh, we can do, hopefully we can do Aspiration. Yeah, buddy, twin turbos. Oh, do I really want to do that though? 116 horse, this thing's going to be screaming. I don't even think I'm going to be able to control this thing, to be honest. Jeez, man. Alright, let's give it a shot, we'll see how it goes. So let's have a look at some comments. This is from episode number two. Let's see what we got. Hopefully you can do some customizing builds. Oh, of course we're going to be doing some builds. That was from uh, Mattis Jansen. We do a customization and builds. We just got to get some money. This is why I'm doing this to, to really just grow my bank account. And um, yeah. So here we go. We got 10 races in the circuit. Next we're going to start off at Sebring. Us back to Florida and the historic Sebring International Raceway. All right. Here we go. So a lot of you guys wanted me to purchase um, the Supra that will be coming, I promise you. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Hey Slap, do you have an 8.6 Torino? Oh, do they still have it? Yes, they do actually. It's an awesome car. I'm going to be getting into all those drift builds very soon. And uh, someone says, does, does anyone know how long it takes for the day one update to finish? That was by Duke. And um, it's not long at all, man. It's like a couple minutes and that's really about it. Um... This one's coming in from Julesai146, and they ask, um, is there any sticky grass? And if it's removed, then awesome. There, there is and isn't sticky grass, and it's weird because the sticky grass now isn't on the proper parts, and you can really just start cutting corners on this game, and I don't understand why they're doing it, but um, it just doesn't make sense why they took up the sticky grass on some spots and not others. But... Uh, I don't know, hopefully online it's going to be actually taken off, so we don't have to worry about people. Oh my god, this thing is crazy quick, man. This is definitely a change of pace, and I thank Turn 10 for giving me this car. Get the hell up. Whoa! No, 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 no. Alright, we gotta redo this. I have braking light on. Um, I was playing with it on last night, just to get a feel for the proper spots on these tracks, just especially for the new ones, so don't hate on me, guys. I promise. It's not going to be on forever. I'm going to slide in here real quick. Get the hell off me, man. Appreciate it. Sebring is a very treacherous track if you don't know what you're doing. Obviously, I didn't know this track. I didn't know I had my braking line on. So, as I expected, this thing is very tough to find traction with. And we got all these hooligans out on this track. Here we go. We're gripping. We're gripping. Make sure I don't smash it in. Oh man, I broke I braked at the right spot too. I'll redo that. Is that the that's the paint job from Too Fast Too Furious? I gotta take out the damn paints here, man. Alright, here we go. We have two laps on this, we gotta make these count. Damn it! What the hell am I doing right now? Xbox One. Yeah, he's got the Too Fast Too Furious paint job on that thing. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Why are you listening, Xbox? Stupid. All right, here we go. Let's break a little bit better now. Get look at this, man. 
Right down to first gear, looks like. This guy's still in my damn lane, though. Cannot get past this fool. Move! All kinds of in the way. Like, he's breaking around that corner. What are you doing? This is why I hate the drive guitars sometimes. They just, they're so stupid. Oh! Oh, no! My God. I'm just gonna just, oh, wow. I'm about to restart this whole damn race right now. The braking line is throwing me off for once. Like, I cannot believe this, but the braking line is actually throwing me off. We're just gonna get through this here. I am not having a good day right now. First, let's play the morning. This is not looking promising whatsoever right now. We gotta get past these three hooligans up here that are just all over the track, man. I don't know if it's just because this is my first time driving such a high horsepower car like this, but jeez, man, it's tough. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Just go right in front of me. Appreciate it. And, like, why are they going so slow around here? Man? I don't believe this. These guys are supposed to be all high horsepower cars, but they're not doing very good. He's, yeah, he's in a break right here. I can't even get past this, man. Like, I wonder if there's sticky gas in here now. <laughs> oh, no! Get out of here. Okay, so there's still sticky grass on that spot, but that sucks. I wonder if I can avoid it. Kind of. Here we go. Jeez, man. That was a rough lap. That was a really rough lap. Hopefully we can get a better lap going on here. Ooh, that cockpit view is nice. Let me see. Here we go. Like, this, I, I gotta work with this tune or something right now, man. This car just does not feel right for some reason. Excuse me, sir. Appreciate it. Alright, come on. How far is that next guy up there? The key is with this, man, is to feel out the controller. That's where the key is. Right now, I can feel my controller hooking. Here we go. I'm going strong out of the corner. Third. In the fourth. Let's go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch this guy, but... Jeez, man. One wrong move just sends you right into the damn class. How did I know that was going to happen? Again. Like, come on, man. I'm breaking at the right spot, too. Like... I'm never I'm not driving this damn braking line on ever again because it like watch where I I braked all the way at the yellow too. There we go. I'm gonna break mass early right now. This thing is a boat right now. I don't understand why this thing is so hard to handle. This brother that is supposed to be really nice, but I don't get it! Here we go. I don't know if it's because I'm mashed on the brake, but I have ABS on them. It shouldn't matter. Oh, I see, I see. So same as the gas, actually. When you have the gas, even with ABS on, it's best to just throttle the brake. And when you do that, that's going to give the controller another bit of vi vibration, and you'll feel that. You'll feel the actual tires hooking and it's gonna stop faster than you normally would. We're just gonna go off track once again here. That's what I always do. There we go. Just drift it. Alright, so next race that we do on this, I will do better, I promise you. I'm taking off this damn braking line. Um, but uh, yeah, so the braking and the gas are very, very similar with each other. And you don't wanna break it so that way you see the tire skids. You see how, like, if I hold it, there's just tire skids for days. But if you do it properly, though, you will feel it hook on your controller, and you'll you'll kind of notice it when you're driving, too, because you'll see the tire skids kind of dissipate as you're going. So we're going to take second. Hopefully that was enough for a gold medal. If it's not, I'm going to be right pissed.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Give me that gold. Let's see what that was for. I hate how it brings you right out of the damn game, though. Is that for 30 golds? Yeah, 30 golds. We got it. Let's get back into the game here. All right. 30 gold medals, guys. We're doing very well right now. I'm not going to lie to you whatsoever. $7,900 for that race. We're going to head into... Oh, can we get to drive level 10? Ah! Close, though. It's close. All right. Let's continue on to the next one. Let's go. For the next event, we travel to Barcelona, Spain, home of the Circuit de Catalunya racetrack. Oh, okay. Sounds good to me. Love Catalonia. Track is just beautiful. Actually, I think this is the first time I've ever driven on this track for four to five right now. I'm almost 100% certain on that. All right. Let's get it. Catalonia. All things good on Catalonia. Oh, my bad. It's a downside of editing a video as you're playing, eh? I hope you guys are enjoying this, though. We got a lot of drift builds coming up. And uh, this weekend has been absolutely insane for amount of content. All right, let's go. Whoop, whoop. Ferrari time, baby. Oh, I forgot to take the... Oh, my goodness. Ah, I forgot to take the breaking line off once again. There we go. Good start. Really nice start. We got a few different classes in here running right, right now with us. Alright, we're not gonna hit him. Try not to, anyways. Move, man! Like, why are they so slow out of these corners? I don't understand this. Like, I understand he's got the Ferrari in front of him, but. Wow, I just hit the dirt. They just sucked me right into that dirt as soon as I went onto that thing. I've been noticing now that the rumble strips, um, they're very treacherous now. If you go into them, they're gonna suck you right in. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to smash this guy. Excuse me. This guy's repping the same damn car as me. Appreciate it. Oh, I wanted to pass him. Oh, they're getting swirly in front of me. Here we go. Excuse me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to take this in a curve here. It's greasy, I know, I know. Hold that outside. Yeah, baby. This thing is just exhilarating the drive right now. I want that Aventador so bad. I think that's going to be my next big purchase is that Aventador. Oh, I'm having trouble getting traction right now. Here we go, baby. Let's see if we can catch him. The thing looks like it's taken off right now. Yeah, that Aventador is... Oh, okay, here we go. That fifth gear pull. I want to hit him. Take him on the high side, hopefully. As long as he doesn't come crashing back into me. Oh! Okay. Appreciate it. That's like my drive guitar right there playing for me. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Keep it steady. This thing is a handful to drive, guys. I know it looks simple, but this thing is an absolute handful. Remember, we have almost 900 horsepower to the wheels right now. So this thing is just, this thing just wants to get out. So the best way in order to stop that is making sure you're throttling properly. And you're not going too hard on your corners. Make sure you get all your lines proper. And not in too low of a gear. If you need to shift up to third gear, like just coming out of a corner, if you find you're getting too swirly, then do so. But, um... If you're consistently spinning, switch gears because that'll definitely help you out if you can't throttle it properly. Who we coming out of this room? Please. Get off the grass! There we go. Ooh, man, this thing is just nice once you get used to it. 
When these tires get warmed up, they get real nice. There we go. I'm getting the braking down though at these triggers, I'll tell you that right now. There we go. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Ooh, that kicked me right out. Man, imagine just sitting there in those little hatchbacks and this thing just comes screaming by. I know how that feels because uh, I was at a track event one week and um, we got to do a ride along in a high end Genesis. And um, we were on a track with a bunch of like Civics and all these Supras screaming by us. And it was it was amazing, man. There was some four rotors just banging out and uh, there was some straight pipe exhaust going by. It was just, it was sick as hell. Key when you're going through these corners is not to try and turn out of it because once you do that, you're screwed. Can you just drift this here? Right now? Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. My bad. Look at these drifts though. Move, Simon. Appreciate it. Alright, let's hold this. Hold this drift right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Do I not have any. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! OH MY GOODNESS! NO WAY! WHERE'S MY REWIND?! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! HOW COME I HAVE NO MORE REWINDS?! OH MAN! WHAT JUST HAPPENED?! THAT'S WHY I fit OH MY GOD uh not happy on that whatsoever. It's definitely not going to be a gold, I'll tell you that right now. It's going to be a bronze. There's no way that that gave me a gold. Let's see what I got. Did reach travel level 10 though. 30, 30k is real nice to have. It didn't even tell me what I had. At least I don't think it did. Metal finished. I don't understand what that means. Metal finished. I guess that means that I beat him. So that's awesome. So th oh, uh, thank you guys very much for coming by today. This beautiful Berlinetta. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like and a comment. It's your boy, the Slap Train. I'm out. Peace.